One final thought for me, and I want to get a final thought from you as well, but uh, there was an interesting thread the other day by a New York Rangers reporter. Um, I want to get his name. I believe it's Adam Hernan. Adam Herman is the name. Apparently, according to Puckpedia, which is one of those like cap-friendly type sites, the New York Rangers would not be able to acquire Vladimir Tarasenko at a retained salary if they traded for vladimir tarasenko it would have to be for the entire five million dollar cap hit why because he was on their roster june 30th technically before becoming a free agent and there's a rule in the cba that you cannot reacquire a player that you had within a calendar year at a reduced salary Now, I would raise a flag and say it's a free agent. It's a new deal. It's a new salary. Things should reset. But basically, it's so that you can't trade a player away and then acquire him right back for a reduced salary. That part, I understand. It's kind of, you know, going around the cap. But this, it it does throw a bit of a wrench because the Rangers, I'm told, and we heard Frank Saravelli say this and and other insiders, that they want to be one of the most active teams at the trade deadline but they're also a team that's a bit up against the cap. So interesting note. Yeah, yeah, definitely interesting. That was something um, maybe I was aware of, but I kind of forgotten about it because it doesn't really come into play very often. Now, Tarasenko, I, like he was good on the Rangers for sure, but I don't know. Is, is he the guy that they would target here moving forward? Like it was a first round exit last year when they brought him and Patty Kane into the fold. I mean, he had the most goals on the team in that round. He had three goals. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, I don't know, but but then I think too, Ross. If you're the Ottawa Senators, like you, especially if Josh Norris ends up on long term injury reserve, you got a lot of cap space freed. You're probably going to want to retain salary to increase your return as much as possible. So unless New York is like, hey, we get it, you literally are not able to retain salary, we'll give you a return similar to what you would get if you did retain salary or something like that in the works maybe then it happens but i gotta think there's a lot of teams looking at vladimir tarasenko and thinking this could be a big piece for us especially with the way he's rounded out his game and he's no longer just an elite goal scorer and i mean mike rupp was saying this on the nhl network the other day but if you just look at his all-time playoff statistics he's obviously got the stanley cup on his resume but his all-time playoff goals 44 goals in 97 games like this guy scores clutch goals. He's a big game player and I would yeah. love him to resign for two years in Ottawa, but I just don't know if it's likely. And if these are the prices, if it's a seller's market where it's like, you know what, if these teams are playing, paying a premium and we're going to the draft and we want the sense to be active at the draft, like yes. you might have to. And then you can always, I don't think he would make it. Cause again, with the new agent, I think he would be looking at an extension wherever he does decide to waive his no trade clause to, but it is very interesting. Uh, to note Vladimir Tarasenko. His name will be discussed quite a bit on this show going forward. And Ross, like if you're talking about a guy with playoff experience, I'm looking at it now. Vladimir Tarasenko has only missed the playoffs once in his entire NHL career. Wow. Interesting. So that is a guy. And there's been some deep runs in there, like 2015, 2016, he had 20 games, and then obviously the cup. Uh, So That's a guy that, especially if you can plug like contending teams, he'd most likely fit in a middle six role. Like the Ottawa Senators, he's on, well, I mean, depending on what you want to call your third line, but he's in a top nine role and he's having a lot of success. So this is a guy that teams will be looking at. And I like the idea of Vegas looking at him, like the the trade proposal that uh, was put on NHL Network. So a a, a good prospect plus a second rounder, I'll get it done for me.